Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Tobia. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make classic Sunday pot roast. I have here a two and a half pound chuck roast. And I'm just going to really coat all the sides really well with kosher salt, coarsely ground black pepper. And I'm going to also give it a real good coat of paprika. Now don't worry about this being heavily seasoned because it's all going to penetrate the meat. Another thing that I have here is garlic powder. Rub it in. I'm going to flip to the other side here. And then I'm going to season the opposite side the same way. And then I just use any of the reserved bit that came off onto my cutting board here. Just roll the edges. Now if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and select the bell. That way you can uh, select all notifications and be notified of all my new uploads. So after you season the roast, I'm going to take some all-purpose flour and I'm going to coat my roast. I'm going to rub it down and then just rub the entire outside with all-purpose flour. So I'm preheating the bottom of my ceramic Dutch oven from Delaterre. It, this Dutch oven is absolutely amazing. You can find out more about Delaterre in the description box. So I'm going to take my chuck roast and I'm going to begin to sear all the sides of the chuck roast. So I'm going to cook it for about three minutes and then I'm going to give it a flip. And we're doing this on medium high heat. So my meat has been searing in here for about three minutes now. So what I'm going to do is just give it a flip. And I'm going to let this go for three minutes. And then I'm going to do the outside edges as well. So, so my roast is completely finished searing. So I'm going to use a pair of tongs. And I'm just going to remove the roast from the pan for a moment. So I have here two cups of beef stock. And I'm going to add that to my... Dutch oven here. Then we use my wooden spoon to deglaze the bottom of the pan. Just scrape all those bits off the bottom here. Then I'm going to add about two and a half heaping tablespoons of minced garlic. I'm going to dump in one pound of baby carrots. And after dumping in the one pound of baby carrots, I have uh, one and a quarter pounds of Potatoes, you can use white potatoes or red potatoes if you want to leave the skins on, you could. So after adding the potatoes, I'm just going to add in two large white onions. I love white onions, they're so good. And also I forgot to mention, I had added a quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce into the beef stock. So I'm going to place the roast back on top. I'm going to cover my Dutch oven with this lid and this is going to go in a preheated 350 degree oven that's in Fahrenheit and we're going to bake this for exactly three hours and um, we're gonna so here is our roast it took exactly two hours and 15 minutes for my roast to bake so but if you're using a larger roast it may need more time so I'm just going to sort of slice this uh, roast up so, so that way, uh, you guys see, it, it, it's coming apart rather easy. I'm just really just shredding it apart. So you see it's really tender. I'm not even slicing. It's really tender. So I have the roast all cut up. Please hit that thumbs up and please share my video. Add it to the playlist, please. I would truly appreciate you guys' support. So I'm just going to pull up one piece of this, uh, roast here all right so as you saw when I first cut the roast it was really tender so I have some here on the side of my plate then I'm going to show you guys up close beautiful tender it smells good <laughs> wow oh my goodness mmm it's really good flavor all the way through to the center and the potatoes absorbed all that stock this in the bottom of the pot really flavor the potatoes and everything really 
delicious. So there you have it, how to make classic Sunday pot roast. Thank you so much for watching and supporting. Please remember to live and be well and be safe and healthy.